Welcome to the May 8th edition of Pulse, presented by the PlayStation Network. I'm Christina Lee with what's happening on PlayStation. We'll get to the top 10 games of April a bit later, and also check out some cool new virtual items in PlayStation Home. But the big news this week is the epic space western Starhawk finally takes off. Hired gun Emmett Graves and partner Sidney Cutter are called back to protect White Sands from the ruthless hordes of raiding outcasts in the frenetic third-person shooter adventure, Starhawk. In the action-packed run-and-gun gameplay, on foot, in vehicles, or in the air, players use the build and battle system to instantly launch vehicles and equipment from an orbiting dropship, with epic 32 multiplayer battles, offline and online co-op modes, and the full single-player campaign, you can level up to personalize your experience with upgrades, skills, and custom skins to experience this incredible range of combat and turn the tide of the battle. And Starhawk is the topic for our PSN community Q&A. GeForce 08 asks, What has a development team at Lightbox done to really make Starhawk stand out and separate itself from Warhawk? Harvard Bonin's senior producer on Starhawk answers, Watch for the build and battle to really open up the gameplay. This is a feature that allows players to build a base on the fly. We retained all the fast, frenetic action that Warhawk had and have added this deep tactical layer that really challenges players to use their brains. And next, no longer a cop, close to washed up, and addicted to painkillers, our hero tries to protect the family of a wealthy Brazilian real estate mogul in the third-person shooter from Rockstar Games, Max Payne 3. Introducing a new engrossing multiplayer experience, cutting-edge shooting mechanics for precision gunplay, and new bullet time and shoot-dodge effects, this is a seamless, highly detailed cinematic experience from Rockstar Games. Plus, if you purchase the Max Payne 3 Rockstar Pass, you get brand new multiplayer maps, modes, bursts, playable characters, and more, all for one discounted price. And the great offers continue for PlayStation Plus members with a free download of the action, puzzles, and platforming in the side-scroller Trine 2. Join your friends in the adventure with online co-op as you play as one of three heroes making your way through the physics-based puzzles of fire, water, gravity, and magic in this fantastic fairy tale world. And finally, put the power of creation at your fingertips as you use the PlayStation Move to create and mix your own breathtaking music in the virtual canvas of Q Games' Pixel Junk 4 AM. That's right, mix tracks, experiment with audio effects, and create live mixes in a live two-player session. Then broadcast your music live across the PlayStation Network worldwide. And if you haven't experienced it as part of the exclusive access for PlayStation Plus members, comes the live beta of the Pixel Junk 4 AM viewer. The viewer allows people to log on and watch performances of anyone around the world, including special performances from the creators and DJ Bayon. And to celebrate the upcoming release of Pixel Junk 4 AM, the PlayStation Store is featuring a Pixel Junk sale with huge savings on these great games. If you've never played Monsters, Eden, Shooter, Racers, or Side Scroller, this is a great time to get them at a big discount until May 14th. As for the top games of April, here's a look now at the top 10 game downloads you guys were playing from the PlayStation Store. The PS Vita title Escape Plan finds its way onto the list at number 10. Lots of you are spending quality time in the Canopy Kingdom as Skullgirls fights its way to number 4. And Adam survives an earthquake and dust clouds in I Am Alive, which scales to the top of our list at number 1. Meanwhile, in PlayStation Home, the social games community has been busy with new virtual items releasing every week. Here's a look at one of their latest showcases. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Virtual Item Showcase. Home Guru Magnus here. Let's check out this week's goodies. These weapon items ain't nothing to mess with. Talk about sculpting your guns. Oh, getting her reef on. Nice bombs. 
Fly high in style with the Superstar Jet Setter Private Plane. Now complete with brand new TV and hot tub functionality. I think we've just redefined first class. Be cosmically cool with the Obsidian Blade Walker suit and the Obsidian Throwing Star. Rounding off this week's VIS is the Lockwood Safari Companion Pack. Complete with Kubwa, the Silverback Gorilla, and Kiboko, the Baby Hippo. And that's it for this week's VIS. I hear a hot tub calling my name. Magnus, out! Time now to check out new video releases. We start with a wandless Daniel Radcliffe starring in the creepy thriller The Woman in Black. During afternoon tea, there's a shift in the air, a bone-trembling chill that tells you she's there. After the death of his wife, a grieving lawyer is sent to a remote village to settle the estate of a deceased eccentric in a thriller horror film, The Woman in Black. Upon his arrival, he begins to learn of the tragic history of the English manor and of the ghost determined to find someone and something she lost. And no one is safe from her vengeance. A job at the end of the world. And finally comes Liam Neeson and Dermot Mulroney as oil rig workers stranded in the Alaskan wilderness in The Grey. Nobody's gonna find us, not here. We figure out what way is south, and we start walking. After their plane crashes, the men struggle to survive as they battle their injuries, the icy elements of the merciless weather, and a vicious pack of gray wolves hunting them down one by one. Thanks again for joining us for this edition of Pulse, presented by the PlayStation Network. I'm Christina Lee, and I'll see you next time. This has been a presentation of the PlayStation Network.